tonight, Disney Junior House announced that Sophia the First could likely be cancelled next weekend. Or are we just now? The latest on the situation in Michigan Street that Milwaukee's Transit Center clock tower will be demolished to clear up space for construction of the culture building. We have spotted the coke temperatures. We have put one more one map and one more funny stone check, which may be our most active up and down are coming up. Good evening, folks. As always, my name is Taki Tom. Well, Taki Ben here. This is Taki Tom Ben News. We're going to be receiving some breaking news, but first, it's talking news exclusive about the storm crisis that had happened in Chloe's closet, Catch of the Day. Yes, a storm crisis has just come in from Chloe's closet, Catch of the Day, with the mermaids named Chloe, Tara, and Lil, and two of the sharks, and a duck named Lovely Carrot, who are just the minors from the incident. For more on this story, we are joined by Talking Ginger with your entertainment specialist. Ginger? Yes, thank you, Talking Ben. We are receiving new information that the mermaids named Chloe Corbin, Tara Jansen, and Lillian McGuire had seen an aftermath of the storm crisis that it displaced fishes, dolphins, and crabs. And this was revealed in this screenshot. It's so shocking that it's unlike anything I've seen before in Chloe's closet. Catch up today. I'll just send it back to you guys to Talking News Studio. Thanks, Talking Ginger. As always, we will be back with you with your weather update and a Saturday forecast. Alright, we're moving on to breaking news. Disney Junior has shocked the entire team that over the past four seasons of Sophia the First, it will cancel Sophia the First at the end of the season. It had come from backlash over some ultimate fans of Sophia the First. So for more on this, we are joined by Talking Angela, who is recently a CEO of Talking TV. Angela? Tom, it was announced recently that there is a cancellation of Sophia the First. However, I'm receiving word that the reason why Sophia the First is getting cancelled is because there is the final season and final episode, Forever Royal. As we've seen before, Disney Junior has tried to make Sophia the First a nightmare because of the worst episodes that the kids watch on the TV show. We are currently working on the new season of Sophia the First, but well, we do know that the season will be last on Disney Junior. Angela, have you received any info as Sophia the First will be in season 5? Yes, but only 15 episodes per season, which is not bad, worse and worst. Those episodes will be even better than ever. There will be airing more episodes next week, but we're not sure if there is a new season or not. I'll just send it back to you guys, to Talking News Studio. Alright, thank you Talking Angela, we'll see you on Talking TV. Alright, developing news at the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception in Washington, D.C. that these bells first rang 50 years ago. And also, I'm receiving word that thanks to the Knights of Columbus, 56 bells were housed in that tower. Mark's Iron is taking us up to the tower to see the recently renovated bells right now. These bells first rang over 50 years ago. So when the bells ring, it reminds us that we're being called to prayer, called to worship, and we're reminded of the presence of God in our midst. Thanks to funding from the Knights of Columbus, 56 bells are housed in this tower in the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. Once a year, visitors have a chance to go up the tower All right. Here we are. Okay. for spectacular views of Washington, D.C. Looking out from the National Shrine is just... To reach the recently renovated bells, you have to take stairs, off limits to visitors. For now, the bells are silent, but they'll be ringing out when Pope Francis arrives in D.C. later this month. I've made it up to the room where you can actually play the bells. Let's check it out. Wow. And I'm not going to touch a thing. The tower offers visitors a look at the Washington Monument, the highest structure in D.C., and tourists say this once-a-year opportunity is worth the wait. It's, it's phenomenal. It's just a great, uh, a great
great opportunity to see it from the ground, but then what a wonderful experience to come up and see it from the side. Mark Irons, EWTN News Nightly. Mark Snyder told us that later this month, Pope Francis will arrive in Washington, D.C. after the bells ring. Well, we have a very serious problem to Disney Junior. That Sophia the First Season 5 could likely be on final season. And after 15 episodes, Sophia the First will be permanently cancelled, which meant the $600,000 loss before justice has begun. Taylorsville Elementary School had been evacuated due to a kid bringing a suspicious item like the hand grenade. But it turns out it was a fake grenade, and everyone cheered Happy Grenade Day. No information has received. With the Talking News station among the way, there are campaign ads on Talking Pierre. We are unable to interview him on the camera. He did say that it's going to make it more realistic. Hello guys, my name is Talking Ginger. Well, we have spotted one of the flash floods in Metro Manila. And it contains hard rain and it may affect one of the vehicles. And it may not see the pedestrian lane. Even though the pedestrians want to walk across the pedestrian lanes, they cannot see the track. And the vehicles are trying to drive across the water, but it will not work. However, before Saturday forecast coming up. Alright, coming up next, Transit Center Clock Tower in Michigan will be demolished to clear up space for the construction of the Courtship Building. Also, Talking Ginger returns for the Saturday forecast, and we are joining Talking Angela with your entertainment update, including the showbiz news of Chloe's Closet. We will think more after the break. Yeah, personals. <laughs> hey, what was that? Nothing, I guess. Who <laughs> expected? Oh, what? Oh, no! Oh, ah! <laughs> The flavor of cinnamon rolls has gone mini. New Eggo Toaster Swirl Cinnamon Roll Minis. Swirling fun on the outside, hints of sweet icing on the inside. New Toaster Swirls, the warm bite-sized part of this balanced breakfast. Welcome back. Milwaukee's Transit Center Clock Tower will be demolished to clear up space for the construction of the Torture Building. With the latest, we are joined by TMJ's Veronica Mafias, who is live on location. Hardly anyone came out today for Demolition Day. However, there were some people who came out not for nostalgic sentiment, but for the excitement of what's to come. I mean, we've been planning this job since September last year. Demolition Day fell on one of the coldest days of the season so far. In frigid temperatures, crews were up bright and early for the tower's final hours. And our demolition contractor actually torch cut the columns and had a piece of equipment on the north side of the building, kind of holding it up as a, as a lever. And then once all the columns were cut, they tipped it over and everything went real well. The clock tower came down, and within the next month or so, contractors will have the space cleared for construction of the Couture building. Being a young professional, it's kind of cool to know that your city is growing. Devin Roses missed the demolition by a few hours, though the excitement of Milwaukee's changing lakefront didn't keep him from bringing his mom out to the corner of East Michigan in the freezing weather. Having worked downtown for a while now and living downtown, it's kind of cool to see everything go up the way that it is now, so I wanted to show my mom here some of the developments that are happening. While there were lawsuits and groups like Preserve Our Parks who opposed the selling of the space to a private developer, the tower went down without any protest. Only one demonstrator braved the elements. The county says construction of the Couture building will create 2,000 jobs plus add to the property tax base. Reporting in downtown Milwaukee, Veronica Macias, today's TMJ4. I know, right? Thank you, Veronica. That is Veronica Macias on TMJ News. Now let's go to some Saturday forecast with Talking Ginger. Hello, guys. My name is Talking Ginger, and now it's time for our extended Saturday forecast. Tuesday, that the temperatures will be more warmer than I thought it would be. Wednesday will be even better with a little more heat of the sun. But Thursday will be our changing day at the hot factor at 45 degrees. But unfortunately, there could be rain soon on Friday. And that's our Saturday forecast.
podcast now. Back to you. Thanks, Ginger, and we are now joining Talking Angela with your entertainment update. Angela? Hello, guys. My name is Talking Angela. Do you remember me from the previous newscast? Of course you did. So now it's time for an entertainment update. Unfortunately, Disney Jr. was unable to have Sophia the First in the new season. Disney Jr. claims that there are no more ideas left for Sophia the First, and also it will no longer receive new episodes and will no longer make new seasons anymore. Luckily, there is a new Disney TV show like Fancy Nancy, and that's your entertainment update, now back to you. Alright, now it's time for showbiz news, let's send out over to Talking Ginger. <laughs> Ginger, and now it's time for your showbiz report. There is a performance at the cruise ship in Chloe's Closet Singing at Sea called the Blue Ocean Song. We're going to show you the video right now. tonight this series is now on a limited schedule new episodes will now air whenever talking news official is in season nine anyways that's all for now folks as always my name is talking tom and this is talking ben we'll see you later good night everybody